What's up guys, my name is Bart Komar and this used to be my shop. Well, at least until I converted all of my old fluorescent light fixtures with brand new LED light bulbs. And today I'm gonna show you three easy ways on how to get your workspace looking like a million lumens. Let's get started. All right guys, if you're anything like me, your workspace is in dire need of additional lighting. Even though I have six fluorescent lights, it still seems like it's always dark and I'm always compensating with additional lighting, setting them up, walking around them, and I'm even using small key lights to help with projects. So to fix this problem, I partnered with Parmita LED Technologies and they set me up with two different types of LED bulbs, a hybrid bypass bulb and a direct replacement bulb to give the shop a much needed upgrade. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys three different conversion methods, a plug and play, a ballast bypass, and a direct wiring method to add new light fixtures. That way, if you're converting or adding new light fixtures, we will cover it all. And you can throw those old strobing fluorescents away and step into the age of LED. All right guys, here we go. First method is gonna be your plug and play. You just gotta make sure that you're buying the hybrid tube. This tube basically can just plug into your light fixture without having changed the ballast or rewiring anything. But you do need to consider the type of light fixture that you have. So Parmita actually lists out the compatible light fixtures that you have. My light fixture is not on there. However, that doesn't mean you have to rewire it. It just means that they haven't tested the transformer or the ballast that you're actually using in the light fixture. So we're gonna test it right now and see what happens. But if that doesn't work, I'm gonna show you guys how to bypass that ballast and you can still use these tubes. So let's do it. The first thing you wanna do is remove the old fluorescent bulbs from the existing light fixture. Then grab yourself a plug and play TA bulb from Parmita, install it into the old fixture, give it a turn to activate the connectors, and that is it. Literally, that's it. And now we're gonna just turn it on and see if it works. And that's how easy it is. I literally just took out the fluorescent bulbs, put in LEDs, and I'm good to go. But let's say this didn't work, and we have to bypass the ballast. Super easy, let me show you how. The next example is gonna be the dual-ended ballast bypass. After removing the bulbs, you wanna take the fixture cover off, which is gonna give you access to the ballast and all of its wiring. Make sure that the power is off to the lights and double check it with a meter if you have one. Before doing any wiring, I always mark the power wire with a piece of tape. This way it makes it easier to remember which wire is your load coming in. Then I take the light down, but you can always do it connected to the ceiling. For me, it just makes it easier that way. That was holding very well. On one side of the ballast, you're gonna have two wires running to the tombstones and a black and white wire feeding your power. You wanna cut all those off. Next, strip the two wires going to the tombstones and connect your neutral wire that comes out of your ceiling. Make sure you put your wire nut on tight and secure it with a little bit of electrical tape. This way you know it's never gonna come apart. So now you have tombstones on one side connected to a neutral. Now on the other side of the ballast, cut all the wires going to the tombstones, fully disconnecting the ballast. Then I strip all of them like on the other side and add the power or load wire to them. Twist all of them tight and secure them with a wire nut and some tape. And that's pretty much it. You have one side connected to the power and the other side connected to neutral. It's that simple on a double-ended connection on an old fluorescent light fixture. This way you get the benefits of an LED without having to purchase a brand new fixture. So now all you have to do is just add your ground wire with the green screw to the fixture, add your Parmita hybrid or direct wire bulb, and you have double-ended LED brightness. But let's say you want to do a single-ended connection on an old fixture that's double-ended. Too easy. Pick one side of the fixture to be your connection side. I'm going to be using the blue side or the side with the blue wires and cut them off on that side long enough so you can work with them. The rest of the wires from the ballast can be eliminated. We're not going to use them at all. Then you can either leave the ballast inside the fixture or you can unscrew it and remove it and dispose of it properly. Back on the power side, we gotta make sure that the tombstones that were originally in the light fixture are not shunted. And the best way to do that is with a voltmeter. 
If we get a tone, that means that they're shunted and we're gonna have to replace them with a new set. Oh wait, it is. Since the old ones are shunted, I gotta replace them. And I got these on Amazon for a couple of bucks and I'll leave a link down in the description below. There's no signal. Since these already came with a neutral wire connected to both tombstones, all we have to do is just add our black power wire. First I cut a short jumper wire and connect it between the two tombstones. Then I take the longer black wire and connect it right next to the black jumper wire. And that my friends is it. This is our single ended connection. The only thing left is to connect the power wires to a power source. The only other thing you have to watch out for when installing single ended connections is you have to make sure that the side of the bulb with the label goes to the power side on the fixture. So label on the bulb goes to the tombstone with the power on it. And that's it. Yep, that easy. Gosh, that's bright. Since I need more than three lights, I'm gonna be adding more fixtures, which means new wiring to the shop. All right, first things first, I actually have to lay out the location of all nine lights. And I'm gonna split the shop into three sections so that I can hit a switch and one section of the shop is gonna be darker just for filming purposes and change the mood lighting in here. But first, I gotta take down some of these acoustic panels that are in my way, and then we're gonna shoot a laser and mount all of our lights. Let's do it. After marking the locations of the new lights, I drilled one inch holes in a ceiling to the attic ugh, so that I can get this clad wiring through the ceiling and then connect all of my lights together. This is gonna work really well jumping from light to light. It's gonna make it easy. You don't have to bend conduit, so we're going with this. And to find the hole locations in the attic under all that insulation, I'm gonna be using some conduit pipes through those holes and I tape them to the ceiling temporarily. You can use conduit or dowels, anything basically you have laying around. All right, we're in the attic now and I have to find all of the pipes that I stuck through the ceiling and I made myself a map. So this map has all the locations of the pipes in the shop to make it easier to find. been a while. Theoretically, you can lift this. Bada bing, there's our pipe. After finding all the locations of the pipes, I started to run the clad wiring between all the rafters and underneath all the plywood. Now, if you're not comfortable running your own electrical wiring, I would definitely call a certified electrician but I've done enough wiring in my day and been zapped enough that I felt comfortable enough to take on this task. So now I have all the whips hanging in the shop and it's time to start stripping all the wires to get them ready to connect the light fixtures. And again, make sure that the power is off. Electrical is nothing to mess around with. And believe it or not, this is not the first time this has happened to me. Whoa. Yeah! So this time I made sure that the power was off and marked where the screws needed to be on the lights so that they would hit the joists. These lights are very thin metal and you can drill right through them with a wood screw. Next, I stripped all the wires and connected the green to green, the ground, the white to white, the neutral, and finally, black to black, the low. Replace the cover with the provided pins and install the Parmita replacement bulbs. All right, moment of truth. Let's uh, turn the shop on and see what it looks like. All right, here we go. Oh, it is so bright in here. So now I have a total of nine light fixtures each holding two bulbs. Six of them at 5,000 Kelvin, which give me the brightness that I need. And for a little bit more of a warm feeling, I installed three light fixtures down the middle with 4,000 Kelvin. And I know that mixing Kelvins is not optimal for filming, but together these bulbs give the shop such a unique look. And I just love being in there now, not having to move all the different lights around and actually see what I'm doing. So I'm very happy with it. All right guys, so we have old fluorescent light fixtures 
compatible with new LED tubing, which is absolutely awesome. And the shop looks fantastic. Now, I'm not an electrician, but this couldn't have been any easier. With the exception of the little bit of bzzz, was stupid simple, anybody can do it. I wanna thank Barmita for making this video possible. And if you guys are looking for LED tubing like this or any other lighting, make sure you guys head over to their website and check it out. They have a wide variety of lighting options from interior, exterior, under cabinet lighting, canopy lighting, they have everything. And they have a five year warranty on these lights, so make sure you guys check them out. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification. I put out videos like this for you guys all the time to show you guys that you can do it pretty much by yourself. A little bit of patience and you too can figure it out. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I'll see you guys next time. And that's a wrap. That's not a wrap. Wrap is like boom, boom.